Hi there friends, Felicity here today with a new project for hip kits using the April 2017 kit. Now I'm going to be honest, I struggled a lot with this page. I have no idea why. I'm not sure if it's because it was the first page that I was creating with the April kit, whether it was a mix of overwhelming feelings, I guess, having so much product to play with, um, a lot of ideas. I just, I don't know, I struggled a lot. But, you know, in the end, I'm happy with how my page turned out. I'm going to be honest, I don't love the page, but I did enjoy the process. It was good to just, I guess, create something to relax, to, I guess, let emotions and feelings go. And that's what I love about creating. I guess most of us too struggle at some point when we're creating. The wheels fall off the wagon, we get a little bit disheartened, we lose a little bit of direction. I mean, most of us, I'm sure, can enter into that feeling of perhaps unworthiness or even discontentment. But, you know, that's why I scrapbook as well. It helps me to release all those negative feelings. It helps me to refocus on what's important in life, what really matters. And it helps me just to, to simply relax. Now, I pondered a lot on this page long before I turned the video camera on. I guess I had to stop and think and take all the pressure off myself. You know, that unnecessary pressure that we put on ourselves. Block out the negativity um, that we talk ourselves into, I guess. And once I'd done all that, I just simply let myself create. So what I've done here is I've started off with some gesso on the background and then I've come in with the crayons from Vicky Booten. I think that's how you say her surname. I could be wrong. Um, and I've put them down on the page and then I've used either a wet uh, watercolour brush or my finger and smudged the colour in. Now these crayons that come in the colour kit, you, they're all I guess the same tones so you don't have to think too much about what colour to put next to which one, what's going to blend nicely. So if you are I guess starting into mixed media or you're a little bit unsure how to start these crayons from the colour kit is actually a good starting point because you don't have to think too much, I guess, um, as to even how you use them and what colours because it's all there. Now, <clears throat> um, what I did was just put the colours down and kept popping my photo on to make sure that I had enough colour come through from behind the photo. Now, as I said, I seriously, I had no clue what I was doing with this. I just, I had probably, I had motivation, but I just lacked direction with it. And that happens. So I then had the idea of the stickers that also come with the colour kit, and they're also from Vicky Booten, is to try and use those stickers to be able to tell my story or to use them as journaling. And I was actually given the task for this page to come up with some creative journaling ideas. Now, creative journaling ideas could be in the form of writing a poem, could be a quote, it could be writing a once upon a time happily ever after story, <laughs> it could be a conversation. Um, documented. So when I got out all the sticker sheets and um, I guess looked at the words and the sediments that were on the stickers, I realised that I could tell my journaling with the stickers and I was quite excited then um, to be able to do that. Now these stickers are designed to be used with the crayons for mixed media and I did have that 
originally in the back of my mind that I would perhaps colour them in, you know, a little bit of the pink or perhaps even a little bit of the yellow orange tones on the stickers. But I end up leaving them exactly how they are and that's totally okay. <laughs> um, I do plan to actually try and use them again with some colour, so I'll leave that idea for another page. Um, and then I end up popping them down, I guess, in a little bit more of a creative way on my page instead of just sticking them or adhering them straight onto my page, which you'll see further on. So I spend some time now just fussy cutting out the stickers. I did pop it on some white um, paper, the stickers, because I wanted to be able to move them about. I didn't know if my idea here was going to work, if it was going to look any good. So it just gave me a little bit more, I guess, freedom to move them about by having the stickers on the, um, on the paper. So, yes, that's what I'm doing here. I do go through the embellishments too because my daughter here has a little bit of blue from her denim pinafore. I did want to try and bring through a little bit of blue um, as well into the page. And there was actually some blue there. That's a card from the Oasis Ephemera. Um, I fussy cut that flower out. It's got some blue, some of the Pink Paisley Page Evans um, chipboard stickers have some blue on it as well. So I did try to bring that through a little bit as well. I could have turned the photo into black and white and that might have made things a little bit easier, but I really, really like that photo in colour, so I just went with that. Uh, um, you can see some of those tags as well, the clear acetate tags. They've got some blue as well, which go really nicely. And there are some really nice sayings and sentiments on those acetate tags as well. So in true fashion of my creativity, I spend a lot of time just fiddling, moving things about, trying to work out, I guess, even a design because, you know, I still at this point and right to the very end had no idea for a design whatsoever. So what do I do? I just layer, I guess, bits and pieces galore all under the photo and just put embellishment after embellishment down and you know this kit too um, from April you know don't be fooled by it because you know let's be honest when I first opened it I did go uh oh because the Oasis collection seems to be a little bit um, you could say directed towards travel now I don't go on a lot of um, vacations or holidays or breaks away so I knew that I had a few photos that I could perhaps um, scrap but I knew I didn't have a lot so maybe that's why too I lacked motivation I don't know but once I actually started using the kit it's there is so much more to that kit than actually being you know I guess travel orientated or even having the thought of it being tropical orientated the kit it's not it is really versatile and I'm actually hoping and I say hoping with my fingers and toes crossed that I can create um, something a little bit more masculine because it just seems to be that I'm continually scrapping my daughter and I actually do have two sons <laughs> believe it or not um, and I should be documenting some of their days on paper as well. So now I've thought of, originally with um, all my words there, I was just going to stick them straight down on my photo, as you can see. But then I had this idea that perhaps I could use the two buttons that come in the kit as, I guess, like anchor points and winding some string around the buttons and then putting my photos, I guess, tucked into the string just to add a little bit more dimension, a little bit more interest to the page because to me the page was looking quite flat and boring. <laughs> I mean, that's my personal opinion. Um, a lot of people probably love it how it is, but for me it just didn't, looked far from finished. So that's what I end up doing is winding some string around and then popping my words down 
on the string. I end up also backing the page as well with some of the paper. Um, I think I end up using that paper I've got underneath with the crosses. Um, and I'm just trying to think here where that paper's from. And um, I should know it's quite thick um, and I really liked, you know, the thickness of the paper. And I should know, is it pink fresh? I think it is actually because I, I don't have it here in front of me. Um, but yeah, I think that's what it is. So there you can see I um, anchored, I guess, my buttons with the string and then my words. And sorry for that light. That's actually the morning sun coming through. I was up early and decided to be a little bit crafty before the kids got out of bed. So now here I am with still no clue <laughs> um, of how to finish my page and what to do. So I, yeah, just layer, I guess, pieces now underneath my cardstock, which also gives it a little bit more stability because it does. Get, it is a little bit heavy with all my embellishments and the mixed media there as well. And, of course, I finish with some hand stitching too. So now it's just popping it down. I do machine stitch that as well, so I didn't um, worry too much about that had it too much adhesive um, and because you know I'm marking here the holes for my hand stitching too I don't need to use a lot of adhesive when I'm doing stitching and then I finish off at the very end with some paint splatters and I pull out some of the um, the hearts from the pink fresh stickers the embellishments as well so that also helps finish the page off and as I said I like it when it's finished I don't love it but it was just one of those pages and I'm sure we've all done it or been there before and these um, are shimmers sprays that I'm just splattering with which came in some past kits I couldn't even tell you what months they were coming last year's And yeah, those chipboard stickers, I've just got to pop a little adhesive underneath it. But I'm nearing the end here, guys. So thanks so much for watching today. And I'll see you in my next video.